New construction homes starting in the 400,000s in Southern California. Yep, it exists, and I'm gonna show you what you can get in this video tour. As of the making of this video, this builder is offering some extra incentives, such as 5.5% interest rate for FHA and VA loans, and a good amount towards closing cost credits and other incentives, sometimes on other homes as well, that we're gonna to touch on. Hi, I'm Jessica Janung with the Janung Real Estate Team and Real Broker. We are gonna get right to it today. Pradera Point, which is a DR Horton community in Winchester, is where we are touring today. They just had the ribbon cutting grand opening and the models, they're now open. We are gonna tour a couple of the models and by the way, they were pre-selling before the official grand opening, uh, which is very common for new construction builders in our area. I was first at this community a couple weeks ago with a client. We were touring other new construction in Winchester and Temecula, which were mostly 600,000 and above, or the other option within the budget was townhomes, which they didn't really want. So they wanted to check out Pradera Place to see what it offered. They loved it, they got on the wait list, and they're waiting for one of the lots in an upcoming phase that this lot happens to be on the park, and so it's gonna have no rear neighbors. Um, but most of all, it's well within their budget comfort so they can rest easy knowing that their payment is going to be manageable. Let's get into a few reasons that I'm showing you this community. One of them is that I actually had a little bit of like an epiphany when I I was up in one of the models looking out the window of one of the master bedrooms out at Heritage Lake. So Heritage Lake was another new construction community that I, that I used to work at uh, very often. They are sold out now, so uh, it's just resale homes in that community, but very nice community, and I could just um, see the progression of new construction moving south in Winchester. I can just see you know, the suburban sprawl that's coming and how it's getting nicely landscaped and developed. There is a ton of new construction going on in this area, all off to Minigoni Road uh, in between uh, Menifee and basically North Marietta. This community reminds me so much of my first home that I bought in Marietta back in 2010. Um, it was also a DR Horton community. I'll show you a picture of, of my very first home and why they seem so similar. Uh, it was 1678 square feet. It was three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. All the bedrooms were upstairs. It was a smaller lot similar to this community. It was around a 3000 square foot lot and we were working a lot. So I was perfectly fine and really liked having a little bit smaller lot. It felt a little bit remote when we first purchased the home uh, but now it's right next to the brand new Costco it's still it's got a super target nearby lots of other commercial restaurants and shopping development being built there as well and so I can see a similar progression that's likely to happen with this new community here at Pradera Point currently your closest shopping options are going to be off Newport Road and Menifee so it's going to be a short drive headed west uh, your first grocery store is going to be Stater Brothers then is going to be a Barron's, which is a grocery store that I really like. And then you're gonna hit the closest freeway, which is the 215 freeway off of Newport Road. If you head south down Winchester Road or the 79, that's gonna take you through Winchester and there's a lot of shopping there. You'll also hit Marietta and it's, that will take you all the way down through Temecula and the mall and then you'll hit the 15 freeway. DR Horton is the largest home builder in America and it's kind of a machine. <laughs> they have about a three month build time at Pradera Point, so they are pumping them out and sales have been quite strong according to the on-site sales rep. The other reason I'm telling you about this community and builder right now is that DR Horton runs a lot of financing incentives and this is because they are so large they have more financing capability than a lot of the smaller lenders. So right now through several of their communities in Winchester, not just at Pradera, Pradera Point, um, I have been seeing them run specials uh, for 5.5% interest rates for FHA and VA loans. Um, I've also seen them do what's called like a home of the week. I get these emails that go out. Out. like I just recently saw one for a neighboring Winchester community. There's two other uh, communities that are near there. One's called Pleasant Valley Ranch. The other one is called North Sky right off to Minigoni, still in Winchester. And Ple at Pleasant Valley Ranch, they had like a home of the week on special for 5.25% interest rate. Like they were really trying to move that home. So this interest rate savings, if you can find a home that qualifies for this, um, is huge right now because rates are crossing 7%. So this is a huge savings. I briefly mentioned the other two communities, North Sky and Pleasant Valley Ranch that are selling in, in Winchester that are DR Horton communities. And the big difference um, is 
price uh, for these communities like uh, Pradera Point is going to be your least expensive option that we're discussing. And so if you want a larger lot and a larger home and you have a little bit more of a budget, you might want to look more at that Pleasant Valley Ranch or North Sky. I'm focusing on Pradera Point today because it is the most affordable of those DR Horton communities in that immediate area. So um, the other communities, they have the bigger lots and bigger homes, but Pradera Point is going to be the most affordable. I forgot to mention also, um, DR Horton in that area. I've been getting a lot of emails on occasion. It's like, I think it's about every two or three months or so. Uh, they do what's called a red tag sale. So they have particular homes that they want to move quick, quick. They're reducing the price. And sometimes I've even seen them throwing in uh, free solar. I have not seen that at Pradera Point, but I've seen that uh, yet. That may be coming, who knows, on, on some particular homes. But I have seen that on the other two communities in Winchester. Uh, reach out if you have questions on that. By the way, should you hire an independent agent to help you purchase your new construction home? A lot of folks didn't even know that you can. Check out this video to learn about what your knowledgeable and experienced agent should be doing for you. Um, I will link that down below in the description. Um, if you do decide to hire an agent, remember that the builder pays the agent's commission, so it is of no cost to you. Um, but this is very important that your agent needs to be with you on your first visit to tour the models in the community, otherwise they might not later let you have independent representation. So if you would like myself or an agent on my team to meet you at one of these communities, we'd love to hear from you. Let's get back to the community and a few more details that you need to know. Um, currently, as of the making of this video, they were offering um, $10,000 credit towards closing costs if you use the builder lender for Pradera Point. So that's only tied to the builder lender typically for you to be able to get that credit. Um, also, solar is required on all new construction, including at this community. This has been in effect since January of 2020. So you can either lease the panels, and I believe it's about $125 a month to lease the panels, or you can purchase them. And the purchase costs, according to the sales rep, um, it depends on the floor plan that you get. Uh, the bigger home you have, the more panels that the state is going to require. So the cost for that is between $13,000 and $16,000. You can add that to your loan if you can afford to bump up your pre-approval to that amount. Um, most of my clients that can afford to add the solar in their pre-approval do go that route because there has been a tax credit in place. Check with your CPA to double check that you qualify and the amount of it. But my understanding is that it's about a 30% tax credit only on the purchase. Does not apply if you lease the panels and then later you purchase them. What I've been told is that then you're no longer eligible for the tax credit. So that's something important to consider. There is an HOA at this community, which will range from $120 a month to $116 a month at build out. The initial earnest money deposit to reserve a home here is $3,000. That will take the home off the market. The rest of any down payment and closing costs is not due until a few days before closing after your home is completed. Let's talk briefly about the schools. According to the DR Horton materials, the elementary school that it's zoned for is Mesa View Elementary School. The middle school is Ethan Allen Chase Middle School. Both of these schools, by the way, are located in Heritage Lake. And then the one that was a surprise to me is that this community is zoned for Liberty High School because a lot of the other new construction in the area is not zoned for this high school. So this one was a surprise. And quite frankly, I am still confirming this information. I don't think that they would put it on their info sheet if it wasn't correct. Um, but my client that's purchasing in there, he did call that high school and they did not have his address as zoned for it. So we're still kind of working that out. Okay, let's get into the floor plans. There are five floor plans at Perdera Point and they range from uh, 1,342 square feet to 2,384 square feet from three bedrooms to five bedrooms. So there's quite a big range. I don't have all the pricing, I have some of it, but some of these plans are temporarily sold out until they release a new phase. So they're, they're not providing the prices for those. But for, um, we'll call it like the plan two, it's the residence uh, 1583. That means it's 1,583 square feet. That is uh, one of the three models. They have that price starting at $465,490 when I was in there a couple weeks ago. So since that's the plan two, the plan one is, is only 1,300 square feet. So it's likely more like 460 or 450 as a starting point. So for new construction, single family home in our area, um, this is as good as it's going 
going to get. Um, and then I believe, so my client is waiting for one of these larger floor plans. So we got rough pricing they, they, because those are temporarily sold out right now too. You have to get on the wait list and wait for the future plans. Um, we had to go off prices from the last phase. So every phase when communities are selling well and the market is going along, uh, which as it is right now because of the low inventory, um, they're going to increase, uh, increase the price a little bit. So probably in this community, um, I would estimate just in my experience about two to three thousand dollar price increase per phase. So uh, for these larger ones, we're looking more in the low fives, like five, uh, 510, 520, 530 in, in that range. We'll show you the models, but before we do, if you would like me to keep you posted on any new construction news in the Valley, I recommend that you sign up for my weekly newsletter. I have a link down below in the description. In this newsletter, I have a new construction section where I tell you about any communities that are opening or pre-selling, and also when I hear about any special incentives being offered, such as the red tag sale that I mentioned earlier in the video. Our tour is going to start with the, the smallest floor plan that's modeled, which is basically their, their plan two, which is the 1583 model that we mentioned. And this is the one that reminds me of my first house, almost exactly the, the three bedroom, two and a half bathroom, all the bedrooms are upstairs starting at about 465,000. So we'll do that one. And then we're also going to be touring the largest model, um, which is also the largest floor plan.
hope you found this info helpful and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.